Good job. Yeah, I am fun. So I'm heading back to Walmart. Why am I heading back to Walmart? Because they forgot half of our order. Yeah, crazy. I get home because I remember that Krista ordered coffee creamer. I was like, I got home and there was no coffee creamer. But I didn't have the list because Krista puts in the order. And uh, I talked to her this morning. I said, babe, we got no coffee creamer. Like, you need to check that list. So there was an entire section of cold goods that we just didn't get. So we had to call. They were like, oh, because of the systems and the coronavirus and because everybody's freaking out, our system messed up and we got your bag right here. So now I got to drive all the way back to Walmart, which is not like super duper close, but it's not super duper far. Eh, super far, but it's not super duper far. So I got to go back to Walmart, get the bag, get home because it's got coffee creamer in it and it's got bacon. Those are two essentials you need to have a happy wife in the morning. So far. All right, I just got to Walmart, and of course I forget my propane tank again uh, for my barbecue that I need to get changed out. But while I'm here, I'm getting a bag of soil. <laughs> Why are you looking at me all come and smiling and then come to me? Hi. Good morning. <laughs> oh, you were just being so quiet in here. We thought you were still asleep. Did you do it? Oh, Who did yeah. it? Mom, I just I just was chilling and thinking. Like you literally were just laying here with your eyes open. You were her? Were you still trying to figure out that you were up? I like her little paddle. Look at it. she's got like a little doggy paddle. Are you ready to go in the garden? Say thank you, Christine, for our, our outfit. You're Love so it. cute. We finally fits it. Let's go. All right, so I got all my flowers going. I got all the plants and I got some extra pots. I picked up some soil. Now this is for in the ground, but it doesn't matter. Like all that is just marketing BS. You Tons of basil, so I want to transplant it into a bigger pot. So I got my terracotta pot right here in the soil so we don't spill it. So I'm gonna transplant that over first. Look at those pretty roots. Ah. Oh. Those are gorgeous. But this growing medium that it had didn't have much nutrients in it. So that's why we feel really important to uh, transplant to something that has a little bit more nutrients. So I'll go ahead. Okay, so we got the basil done. I got them transplanted and separated. Now I want to do the chamomile and I want to plant some of my marigolds, cosmos, and daisies all in one pot so I make like a little medley of of flowers okay and then right here i have marigold seeds and i love marigolds they smell great uh they're a pretty flower my marigolds are doing great all of these seeds came from my already existing marigolds so we're gonna go ahead and plant a bunch of these with cosmos and daisies so we're just gonna kind of do a flower medley mm. Can see Drew? Yeah. Drew, so what are you eating, baby girl? You found your keys. Did you find your keys? All right, how's it looking? I'm so excited. We have our Snapdragons are doing great. Whoops, right here. Snapdragons doing great. Deanthus doing great. Pineapples, amazing. Marigolds, petunias, rosemaries, clovers. Then we uh, planted some marigold seeds. We also planted cosmos. We planted daisies. We have basil going, um, chamomile. And then we also transplanted uh, some more basil to make sure that this is all just going to be just gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited. Now we are going to head to a pool shop near us because we want to get a tiny, small, little inflatable pool because it's hot during the summer. And we want, and Drew loves the water. So we want to have a little something for her to play in. So I got to get this whole area here cleaned out because that's where it's going to go. So let's 
Keep it rolling. Yeah, brush them teeth. Look at this out. Look at your booty in them shorts. Uh, and the new sandals. What? Strike a pose. Go. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at those moves. What? Okay, so we're back. Um, we ended up going to Walmart. Not for all the supplies that everybody else did, but we got a little pool. And it's perfect because we're going to put it on our back porch because uh, we're actually not allowed to have a grub mount. A grub bound? A grub bound. We're not allowed to have above ground pools and we're not going crazy. We have a little girl, so we just wanted like a little something to splash around in during the summer. So we picked this guy up. We got a little pump to blow it up. We actually wanted to get one when I was pregnant for me to sit in. But... Yeah, that would have been awesome. But it's just, the, seriously, you think you're going to do all this stuff during the pregnancy and it just went by so fast. So we decided, nope, we're, we're getting a pool. Not a big cleanup. We just want to sweep. We got to move the lawnmower, move the barbecue over to here, and we just got to sweep up. But this is the area right here that we're going to put it because it's going to fit perfectly right there. Okay. Quick clean. We don't even need to do the montage because it's not that big. So ready? Ta-da! Okay, so now the pool is going to go right here, and I got to see if our hose actually reaches around. Uh, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be, so that's awesome. It's perfect for back here because all of this is enclosed. Yeah, you go out here. <laughs> What's going on? So we're just filling it up right now. We're only going to fill it like a quarter of the way. And then when we fill it all the way up, we have to figure out how to treat it because this is not, it's like too big to the point of having to drain it every single time. And that's just a waste of water. So we're still able to treat it with chlorine and things like that, but we're learning exactly how much is okay. And we can uh, get a little tiny pump and we can keep the water clean, but it just would be a waste to fill it up and then drain it each time. Juju, hi. That is gonna sit. It's a little chilly, Drew. Oh, not too bad. Oh. Hey, Drew. Oh, you want to look at the nature? I can turn around the other way. You're watching? What's that? You watching, Dad? Are you my supervisor? You're my supervisor. Hi, baby girl. Look at you in your first pool. You want to try to sit down or is it too chilly? Yeah, the blue pool. The blue pool. You want to try to sit? She said, it's cold. Oh. Is that too cold? She doesn't care. She likes it. You can splash all you want. Splash all you want. Go. Go. Like you do in your bathtub. This is a big bathtub, isn't it? Go. 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 Like, I should just take baths in here. I know, right? Get the hose. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> are you so proud of yourself? <laughs> she wants them. Here, sit. Good job. Yeah, are you having fun? You're doing a great job. Okay, yes, Drew, this is a moment. Drew absolutely loved the pool. She did a great job. She never whined. She never fussed. She actually was more upset and crying when we took her out than when she was in it, but it's getting close to her nap time. Uh, why are you staring at me, little girl? I see you in that reflection. Hi, you're beautiful. You did a great job. So, yeah, uh, we're going to keep it at a low level right now. We may fill it more. Um, I do want to get a little tiny filter for it, and we want to be able to maintain it. We just want to make it so we don't have to keep draining it every use. That way, we don't waste the water, obviously. But it was a lot of fun. It's only 2.30, almost 3 o'clock, but we're going to go ahead and end it here because there's a lot of footage and a lot of stuff that happened today. I have to go to the store, get a few things, 
now I'm going to be home and I'm going to hang out with my honeybee and cook dinner and we're just going to relax for the rest of the day. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, get involved with us. And as we always say, deuces. deuces.